Hey guys, Ulu here again from the Flow Zone. Today, I want to talk about the concept of doing that which scares you the most. When we do that which scares us the most, we increase and we stretch our comfort zone. And as such, we grow. We expand our comfort zone. We move into terrain that we've never been before. We, knew in, we move into new terrain. And by doing so, we, we grow and we expand. We expand our consciousness, we expand our experience. And the way that consciousness works, once it is expanded to a certain level, it can never return back to its, its former level. So, for instance, when we make a quantum leap in thinking the world is flat, to this concept of the world is round, we're not the center of the universe, we, we are actually rotating around a sun, which is rotating around, it's based on vortexes. So our whole paradigm has shifted. We can't switch back now and shrink our consciousness. We can't contract our consciousness once it's been expanded. It's an ever expanding phenomena. So in knowing this and knowing that that which scares us is the thing that is going to allow us to grow more it's now up to us to set about in our day-to-day -day lives doing things each day, each week, maybe each month. Just one thing that scares us, one thing that makes us a little bit uncomfortable, maybe makes us a little bit nervous. You know that feeling that you get when you try out a new skill, whether it's driving, when you, when you started driving your car and learning how to drive, how nervous you were, like, you know, everything's going on and it's quite nerve wracking. So anything that gives you that feeling, those, those nerves, those chemicals inside your body that says, hang on a sec, this is quite dangerous or this is new terrain, hang on, what's going on? Aim to do those activities. So this is, you know, the, the things you've been putting off for months, for, for weeks, for years, those projects that you wanted to work on, just get up and do them. Just, you know, just decide, make a commitment that you're actually gonna start doing those things that scare you. Whether it's having a conversation with somebody that you've been putting off, that you've kept putting off just out of, you're not wanting to deal with it because of what the repercussions are. Just write it down, go and do it. Whether it's a skill that you wanted to learn, whether it's a creative outlet, whether you wanted to paint or draw or do karaoke or anything that pushes you outside your comfort zone that is unfamiliar to you. Or it could be as simple as taking a different route to work or instead of driving to work, maybe ride your bike or walk to work. Maybe if you're used to driving all the time, maybe catch a public transport. Just switch things up, change things up a little bit and expand your consciousness by doing things that you've never done before. Could be crazy things like jumping out of an airplane, could be going scuba diving, going kite surfing, any of these kind of things that stretch you, that force you to do things that you've never done go to a new city, maybe we can grab a globe or grab a map and throw a dart at it and wherever it lands, book an adventure there for a weekend. Anything like this is going to expand your comfort zone. So it could even be as simple as maybe starting an exercise routine, maybe going for a walk every morning, committing to uh, an X day challenge, whether that's a seven day challenge or a 30 day challenge or a hundred day challenge, whatever it is for you, something that is going to push you and make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Highly recommend doing this. It's gonna be not just good for you, but if you're stretching your comfort zone, giving yourself permission to stretch yourself, to grow, to expand, to do things that you're afraid of, then you unconsciously and just by way of embodying that attitude of being someone who's a growth artist and looking to do new things, you give other people permission to do the same without even saying anything, just by doing, by being that person who steps out of their comfort zone and by doing those things that scare you, you encourage others and give them permission to shine and be their, be their courageous, brave self as well. So. I'll put a little challenge to you now, if you're watching this now there at home or sitting down wherever you're watching this, I would put a little challenge to you now to, to write down a list of five things. It's just five things that, that scare you. 
whether it is a conversation, any of the things I've listed previously in the video, whether it's a conversation with somebody, something you need to tell somebody, maybe you, you like somebody and you've been not wanting to tell them, maybe send them a message, give them a call, whether it's going on that trip you've been thinking about, write, write it down and set about this week to doing one of those things at least. You can try to do all five of them. I'd, I'd love it if you did all five of them. Really getting into the habit of being someone who takes risks, who pushes their comfort zone is, is going to benefit you greatly, but it's also going to benefit those around you and those you care and love about and have influence who are in your circle of influence. So that's all I got for you today. I will be checking in with you next week. So thanks for watching and until next time, many blessings.